Okay, so we have an example in here concerning the electric field lines. So what you see in the picture, two charges Q1 and Q2. Um, initially these are unknowns, what the charges are and the signs are. Uh, but the picture shows the electric field lines uh, around these two charges. Okay, so the first question is, with this configuration, what is the magnitude of charge Q1 to Q2? Okay, so <clears throat> maybe as I explained in the lecture that uh, the density of electric field lines are proportional to the charge Q. So by using this fact, you can clearly see that the electric field lines are denser around the charge Q2 in compared to charge Q1. Let's count these lines. The field lines around Q1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total 6 field lines are uh, going into the Q1. Q1 six lines okay so if you count the number of field lines emerging from uh, q2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 6 over here makes 15 16 17 and 18 so q2 18 lines <clears throat> so that means uh, the electric field intensity around uh, Q1 uh, is uh, exactly one third of the electric field intensity, intensity around Q2. That means Q2 will have three times the magnitude as a charge of Q1. Why? Because the field lines, let me uh, write this as like Q1 divided by Q2 and this will be equal to Q2, Q1 has 6 lines so just put the number 6 because you know this is proportional to the electric field intensity and for Q2 put the number of 18 because around Q2 there are 18 lines so what you get is just 1 over 3 so the magnitude of ch charge Q1 divided by the magnitude of charge Q2 is just 1 over 3. So Q2, Q2 is 3 times the charge of Q1, but we're not talking about the signs yet, uh, because uh, what determines signs are not uh, the field lines, number of field lines, but rather the direction of the field lines. So what you see in the picture is these, of course, these lines with are arrow lines because the electric field is a vector and we need some direction. So we explained that uh, uh, the electric field lines are always emerging from a positive charge and what you see in for Q2 this is the fact that uh, we have these field lines are emerging because the arrow, the direction of the arrows is outward out of the Q2 and in compared to Q2 what you see is uh, the electric field lines uh, directions are coming into the Q1. So that makes Q1 a negative charge and Q2 a positive charge. So Q1 is positive and Q2 is, sorry, it's vice versa. Q2 is positive and Q1 is a negative charge.